On November 1, Turkey and Iran called for a regional conference to prevent the conflict between the Islamic movement of Hamas and Israel from spreading. The call was made during a meeting between Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan and his Iranian counterpart Hossein Amir Abdelayan, which took place one day after the Iranian diplomat met with Hamas leaders in Qatar. Iran has warned that the continued conflict could make Israel a target of armed forces in the region. Turkish Foreign Minister Fidan said his country was pushing for an immediate ceasefire because it was not difficult to predict that violence would continue to spread if there was no long-term solution. We do not want the humanitarian tragedy in Gaza to become a war that affects countries in the region, Fidan said. The Turkish diplomat said his Iranian counterpart also saw strong signs that other armed groups in the region could intervene if the situation did not change. This made the demand for a ceasefire and peace even more urgent. Previously, speaking at a peace conference of Islamic and Arab countries, Iranian Foreign Minister Amir Abdelayan stressed the need to hold a peace conference as soon as possible. On the same day, Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei also called on Islamic countries to stop trading with Israel, including oil exports, in protest of the military operation that the country is carrying out in the Gaza Strip. Speaking to students in Tehran, he said that Islamic countries must firmly demand an end to the conflict and should not cooperate economically with the Israeli government. He also criticized some Western countries, such as Britain, France, and the United States, for joining Israel in pressuring the people in the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, Iranian Defense Minister Mohammad Reza Ashtiani warned that some European countries that support Israel need to be careful not to anger Muslims. In a show of opposition to Israel's military operation in the Gaza Strip, Bolivia announced on November 1st that it was suspending all diplomatic relations with Israel. Bolivia's Vice Foreign Minister Freddy Mamoni said that the country was calling on Israel to end the attacks on the Gaza Strip. Bolivia is the first Latin American country to cut ties with Israel since the conflict broke out. Bolivia has also cut diplomatic ties with Israel to protest previous attacks on the Gaza Strip and only resumed relations in 2019. Earlier, on October 31, the leaders of Colombia and Chile also spoke out against Israel's military operation in the Gaza Strip. In a post on social media X, Colombian President Gustavo Petro said he had decided to recall his ambassador to Israel for consultations and stated that if Israel did not stop the campaign that was harming Palestinians, Colombian diplomats could not be present in the country. Chile also announced that it was recalling its ambassador to Israel.